in the closet. I started um, whatever day that was. That was a few days ago. I don't know, maybe like two days ago. I started working on my closet, but I didn't finish because I just got overwhelmed. Like literally so many clothes are not put up. And then it was like everything was in here in a way where I couldn't move. Like there was clothes in front of this. So I couldn't really like fold stuff up here. And then there was shoes here. So I couldn't like put stuff up here. Like it was just a mess. <laughs> um, but I've made some progress. Honestly, the way that I got through the rut was not tr trying to make everything perfectly folded and put away or like the first time. I just had to throw stuff in the sections it was supposed to go in just to get stuff off the floor and then come back and fix it like when I had space. What do I need to update you guys on? Oh, we put the TV up. Um, we got a 65 inch. Yeah, we got a 65 inch Hisense TV. Vernon's the TV guy, but he researched this TV for like over a year. And when I tell you the quality is like chef's kiss, the quality is amazing. Um, like for real so I'm really happy with it we had it I don't know we've had it maybe like three weeks or so but we didn't want to hang it right off the bat because our couch um is like a low profile couch so it's only maybe like 20 inches off of the ground like it's really low and then our credenza is also pretty low like I couldn't get like a really tall one obviously so when we, we set it on the credenza because I didn't want us to just hang it immediately and then it wasn't comfortable to watch. So by looking at it on the credenza for the, those three weeks, we were able to see that that was actually kind of like the perfect height. Like it doesn't need to be really any higher than that. So we only hung it like about five or six inches off of the credenza. And I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with it. Usually he, he hangs the TVs by himself, but I guess because this one was bigger, he needed my help. <laughs> I saw this post y'all and it was like when people say that they're doing something new and they say that they're taking baby steps I think we all have in our mind like timid caution like cautionary steps and really baby steps are like unstable lurches and like not perfect and messy and sometimes result in failure and I feel like that's kind of where I am like with me coming back to YouTube and like coming back to my business and just like re like starting over in a way that really makes sense that's like my main goal with this like before when i was doing youtube in my business what i was doing was so unsustainable like i did not have systems i tried hard <laughs> to make systems to make it sustainable but i don't even think i knew what that looked like at that time and even now i just think that's not my my zone of genius like the structuring of a business. My zone of genius is really the connecting and the creativity of a business. And I didn't anticipate that because before I owned a business, girl, I was so like logical and reasonable. But when it comes to your stuff, like it's just, it just don't hit the same. So um, I'm really trying to have that like healed approach, you know, and healing helps too, because a lot of my overextending and like getting burnt out was me like trying to prove myself to myself and like trying to prove my worth when I am inherently worthy like I'm a human being not a human doing and I had to really like get that in my head so I've done a lot of that work and of course you're never really like done especially if that's something that you have like lived for years and years and years that's been my life experience overworking overdoing it over analyzing overachieving so I really wanted to like come back and be like, mm, got it down. Now I'm on a whole new wave. And baby, that's not how it's working. Okay. Like I have to take it like day by day. Like, what am I going to do? Oh, I want to do X, Y, Z, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Hold on. Wait a minute. Take off four, five, six. That's way too much. And then I might only do X and Y. And then I have to like regroup at the end of the day and let myself know that you're not a failure. You're not a failure. <laughs> so, um, with this vlog, I think it's like a perfect representation of like what I'm realizing my mental has to shift with. Like I'm not going to come back and have everything together. So this was supposed to be a get your life together vlog. And it was supposed to be one day, maybe two days. And it has become an entire week of like when I have the energy doing the things that I need to do. 
and I just really need to like synthesize that lesson. I don't know why it's so hard for me to get that. Like it takes more than a day to get stuff done. I always underestimate how much time it's going to take me. Um, so this vlog, I honestly feel like it's more of a healing vlog, like integrating lessons that I'm learning. Um, I forgot where these pants went. That's why I was holding them for so long. But yeah, I'm really, <sighs> life is tough. Okay. Life is tough. And I'm really trying my best to like navigate all the things like there's just so many things with what's going on around us, which I honestly try to give little, <laughs> very little fucks about because what can I do to control any of that? Um, so that's like honestly like the least of my problems, but of course it's still like a reality. Um, and then you have like things you're healing from in your family, things you're healing from as an individual, things that you like want to heal to be the best in your relationship, then like owning a business, like all of it, like it's all a lot. And yeah, I'm happy for it though. Don't, I don't want you guys to think I'm not happy for it. It's just, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. Okay y'all, so we just got another home delivery. Y'all are all up in my girl. <laughs> we just got another delivery. Okay. We just got another delivery um, for our house. And this is something, I don't know if you guys saw in one of my moving vlogs where we were like going back and forth about the mirror that we should get. So we ordered the mirror. It was supposed to arrive in January. It got pushed back to February, then March. Then it arrived in March, but couldn't be shipped, like couldn't be delivered to our house for a whole nother month. So here we are in April with this mirror that is humongous and I'm a little worried so let me show you we were choosing between a three foot wide mirror and a four foot wide mirror I believe I can't remember and we chose the bigger one we measured it on the wall like where it was gonna hit like right there to right there um and now is the moment of truth Vernon's going to unpack it I think they were supposed to unpack it for us but they didn't so I'm pretty sure that was like included in the delivery fee, but Vernon said he'd rather unpack it himself anyway. So no, seriously, I'm so worried. I'm so worried about the size of this mirror because my mindset in so many things is like bigger is better. And that's not always the case. That is not always the case. So if it's too big, I don't even know what we do. I, I don't even know what happens if it's too big. Holy crap, holy crap. Oh, that's so damn pretty. Holy shit, it's so big. You look pretty happy. Wow. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It looks so good. Can you see yourself? Okay, so it fits, and it actually, we have space, just like I was hoping. This is nice. This is so nice. Nah, I really like this. And I love the color. It kind of matches the credenza. So, again, we were debating about the color in CB2, and it doesn't look as bad in our house as it did in the store. It's so much more yellow in the store. No, it was so much more orange in the store, remember? It was like an orange copper tone. And I think our just yellow lights helped to offset the color of the gold, or the, the antique brass is what it's called. You can see everything. You can see everything. It makes the space feel like, hmm, saison, seasoning. <laughs> like, I don't know, it gives it like a je ne sais quoi. It makes it feel kind of like you're in a gallery, like. Yeah, it makes you feel like a gallery. It feels, feel it feels high end. Well, like I said, I do like the color. Yeah. I, I mean, it just goes with the it is. I'm so happy with it. And I'm glad we don't have to paint it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm outside in a AMG, right outside. Yeah. Uh -huh.
finished organizing my closet. Everything it looks as good as it can. I definitely need to get some shoe racks. I found some that I like. Um, I just need to do some research on like the reviews and things. But everything is put up. I even color coordinated my t-shirts. Right there. <laughs> right there. Yes. Love to see it. I can actually walk in now and close the door. What? <laughs> and then all of my hair stuff also is in here. So here's hair stuff. There's some filming stuff. These are my like LED lights right here. Um, so as I make more space and kind of move things around, this will look even better. But for right now, I'm happy. And this is my loungewear section. That's why it's like two separate parts because I keep my lounge clothes here. This is for like in the house, which is basically nearly every day. And this is like, oh, on the rare occasion you leave, wear these. This is what I'm getting rid of. I'm very happy. All of this is like old stuff that I was like, oh, maybe I want to wear one more time. And I don't. So I'm letting it go. Girl, sometimes <laughs> I feel like when you have more space, you kind of have more room for clutter and you actually have to be more disciplined with putting things away because it's easier to leave them out because you have the space to leave them out. Whereas before, girl, I had no countertop space, no bathroom countertop space. And so I was like, get it up, put it up immediately. And so I just realized just now that I just need to be more disciplined with that. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in time. Oh, I tried this, you guys. This right here, holy. This is good. It's literally, I, I don't want to say just as good, but it gives the same feeling. If you've ever used the Don't Despair Repair, it gives you this really like luxe, soft, silky, smooth, like beautiful feeling in your hair. This does the same thing, but it's more moisturizing and your curls pop. Honestly, I would say more with this. This one makes your curls pop because it's a protein treatment, but I feel like my curls really, really popped with this. I only used it once, but I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And I'm so glad I have like another moisturizing hair mask that's not this one, because literally I use this. It's still really, I think it's gonna drop something at some point. This is still really good. Um, focus, there we go. This is still really good. I just am getting tired of using it all the time. So love, love, and the ingredients are amazing. Um, it's worth the money. So I always run into a problem with my shampoo because <laughs> it's so big. I think I've actually been putting it here. So let me move this stuff Look how cute. Oh man, this right here, y'all, if you want to clarify your hair, this is it. I really, really, dare I say love. I love this. Just be careful with it. You don't need a lot because this thing, it'll get everything out. It's clean in here. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Oh my goodness. What? When I tell you that this bathroom <laughs> has been unusable for like three weeks to a month, I am so proud of myself. I'm so proud. And now Vernon, he's actually, um, we split the housework. So I'm more of like, oh gosh. I can't even go out here because he's got the music playing. So we split the housework. I'm more of like making things look pretty, organizing things, like daily upkeep with stuff. Um, in the kitchen, in the living room, in the bedroom especially, like making the bed, doing the nightstands, things like that. He's like the deep clean, like he'll do the bathrooms, he'll do the floors. We kind of, I do like the daily floor thing, but he'll do the, you know, deep clean on the floors. We kind of share, we kind of share, it just depends. You done? Yeah. Okay. okay. Can I come in? Yes, you can. All right. Hello. 
looks good on you, girl. Thank you. This day we were actually preparing for company to come over to our new place for the very first time so of course we were deep cleaning and I also wanted to get our couch in a comfortable configuration for like all parties involved we have the Coborn pit sectional from our house and I love that you can move the pieces around because it's just really practical when you live in an apartment and you want to get the most bang for your buck that's how we're gonna do that when we have guests when it's in the pit configuration, it's very like cozy if you live here, you know, like you can just climb into it with your lounge clothes on. But like for people when they come over with jeans and just, you know, it's not as comfortable, of course, when you're visiting. This is a more realistic, I think, configuration so we can all sit with our feet on the floor. And if you want to put your legs up, you can. Or if you want to sit on the ottoman, you can. So Vernon was right. This is what he wanted originally. So we'll see how he feels when he comes in. Good, no. Yeah. Yeah, man. What are you talking about now? <laughs> hey guys, it's Kenya from the day this video is uploaded. So, hello from the future of this video, present of reality. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just wanted to close out the vlog because, um, like I said, we had guests coming over and by the end of it, it was like a mad dash to get everything together and showered before they arrived. I still ended up being a little bit late, but that's okay, it was family, so it was fine. Um, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I know that the vlogs are very much like retroactive. They're pre-recorded because I was filming knowing that when I came back, I wanted to come back strong and have a lot of content for you all. So I have a lot of content and the vlogs get better um at the beginning of the year i was kind of like still coming off of being stressed for moving and just getting back into the swing of content things so trust me it gets better girl <laughs> it gets better um but yeah thank you guys so much for rocking with me if you made it to the end of this video you are a real one and i really appreciate you girl have a beautiful and blessed day bye